What is up, everybody? Local boy here with... Local girl, hello. We are here today to bring you some awesome stuff from Silverload and Motherload. But first off, we want to say 86% of the people that are watching our videos are not subscribed. 86%. So, if you find the next minute or 30 seconds or 6 minutes enjoyable, of value, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button, it means a lot to us, it shows that people are enjoying our content and we know what to make and what to make more of. So to start off we're going to go down under the lift of Silverload and then we're going to take Newport, which is a black run, uh, down to the base of Silverload again. A lot of the ones that we're doing here, people ask us all the time um, on Instagram or in the comments on our YouTube videos, they're like, hey, what are some good, you know, I'm graduating from blues and double blues, I want to do some entry level blacks, what are some good areas? And that's kind of the inspiration behind this video. A lot of these are really catered to new time uh, black diamond skiers. So this one is, I'm pretty sure called Newport, a little bit mogly, not too steep but uh, definitely getting into that kind of black uh, terrain. And what's nice is, so you'll take a cat track to get to this run, and then there's a cat track at the bottom. So you can kind of like ease into it, get on it, and then ease off of it. <laughs> That's a good point. So this one, it's Parley's Park to Prospector. A good tongue twister, Parley's Park to Prospector. <laughs> um, obviously this first part is a blue, pretty easy, pretty mellow. Um, and the, you know, there's a lot of fingers that jump off. There's fool's gold. There's you know, mother load trees. But if you just keep going straight, pretty much underneath the lift, you'll get to uh, this run right here, which is considered a black. There's not many black groomed runs. I would say this is one of them. And it's just nice, as you can tell, it's super open, super wide. Um, it gets a decent amount of sun. So I mean, there could be some icy spots, but. On this day, it was great. We were able to get our edges in just fine and had a blast going down it. As you can see, when I'm skiing groomers, especially if they're really skied out, I like skiing very far to the side because then it's, I feel like all the snow is pushed over there so you get less ice. Um, but it, it's a little bit more steep than most of the runs and that's why it's a black diamond run. So if you're looking for your first black diamond and want to check that off your uh, to-do list, <laughs> I would, I would suggest that one, that one's pretty fun. So you can see at the base of Silverlow, there's a lot of different uh, options down there of things to do. Yeah, no, there's, uh, there's a bunch of those, the gondola or the King Kong or the miners camp. Um, it's kind of like a hub. So it does get pretty crowded. Silverlow does get um, a lot of traffic, but uh, definitely worth it. This run is called Fool's Gold. And these are some of the best moguls yeah. we have skied all season. And we have skied a lot of moguls. <laughs> it's a super fun run, super wide. Um, uh, it's, it's a black, so it's definitely steep and mogly. But uh, again, if you're looking for some runs to, to try out to kind of push yourself, if your you know, blues are a little too easy for you, this would be a great one to give a try as well. And I'm still on the tellies. I've, I've been loving the tellies lately. Um, they're just such a challenge and it's just really been fun for me. Probably look like a goober and I feel like a goober to be honest, but it's just been fun to try it out. Um, actually today we went skiing and I tried my normal skis on and it felt so weird that the heel was locked out. It was pretty funny. Local girl gave a good chuckle, but took me half a second to, <laughs> yeah. to remember how to ski and then yeah. it was fine. But yeah, definitely send some love in the comments for the tele skiing. I'm especially liking it because <laughs> I can keep up with local boy. Usually he's a little too fast for me. So on the tellies, he's a little slower. Look at these huge jump for <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Mother load, I feel like is, you know, quote unquote, in the shadow of uh, silver load. But I would say it's less crowded and um, it kind of caters more to some difficult terrain. There's yeah. still some blues off of it, yeah. but uh, there's some double blacks that you can get to. Um, but you could easily get it. Mother load and silver load get off right next to each other. And so you could pretty much access either terrain uh, from either lift. But um, 
I like it because it's just less crowded, so you don't have to wait in line as long, and it accesses some really fun terrain as well. Yeah, this run is called Glory Hole, and this is another really fun black run, moguls, very similar to Fool's Gold. Um, really, it's just, you know, the next finger over from that, but also super fun, and the moguls are prime. Yeah, we, we, we've been laughing that quite a bit for some good mogul lanes. It's it's funny, there's there's a, such a thing as bad mogul lanes, right? So just depending on the type of skier that goes through it, the shape, um, a lot of different factors. And so to find a really good mogul line is kind of hard nowadays, but uh, all the more worth it when you do find them. Super fun. Yeah, so if you want to know what that looks like, head over to Fool's Gold or Glory Hole to see what a good mogul run looks like. And again, this will just take you to a cat track. Um, it's pretty quick. It just takes you right back to the base of Motherload or Silverload. Or if you ski past down, you can even get back to King Kong if you wanted to. Yep. All interconnected. Pretty fun. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. Uh, it's been super, super fun. And you know what to say. Get out there and shred.